tra boxers who identify as trans will be allowed to fight in the category of their choice. However, they must meet a certain criteria, which includes uh, completing gender reassignment surgery, regular hormone testing, and declaring a new identity. So, should men who identify as women be allowed to compete against biological women? That is really the question. And Cressida, you're probably the best place to answer this because you're a boxer. I'm a boxer. I'm not a boxer. You're a woman. That admit. does explain the, the drinking issue yeah. earlier. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just um, ridiculous. Thank you, Jonathan. No worries. You'll regret this later. I will do. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Because these people have been through a male puberty. Yes. I mean, obviously, it can go both ways. There are women who want to become men who can box. I'm less concerned about that. Well, there's less chance of um, broken skulls. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, there's a, it's really interesting. There was that... Uh, M who was the fighter? Fallon Fox. Yes, and the, the MMA UFC? Um, was yeah, my, uh, well, anyway, um, a, a guy <laughs> who identifies as female, um, boasting about bre fracturing women's skulls on, online. You know, th that's, what, that's the kind of thing it, we're dealing just, with. Just from a physical standpoint, it really does seem to be an unfair advantage to... You know. I mean, it's stating the obvious, isn't yeah. it? Uh, but particularly, you know, we've had these discussions about various sports, and you know, there might be a case with, say, equestrian sports, yeah. where the horse does all the work, or you know, the car things. What are they called? Racing games. Well, I heard in chess uh, yeah. they, there was some issue with uh, transgender players, uh, male to female, joining women's women's only tournaments, and there was some controversy there. Really? Yeah, yeah. Not even a bit. As in, I actually. I feel like there's a punchline coming. No, yeah, but so do I. Yeah. Are there other pieces uh, particularly heavy? Something about Queen. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. But that doesn't make sense. That's what I mean is that if, you, if you're talking about, let's say, no, but, chess... But there was still controversy there. But why? Chess, backgammon, darts, horse racing, car racing, those things you can understand why, why segregating by sex wouldn't really make a difference. But I think segregating by sex for boxing in particular, where people are sport. kicking the hell out of Absolutely. each other. Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the people are segregated in boxing anyway, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Featherweight, so on. Heavy, yes. Heavyweights, is that one? I Heavyweight, don't... lightweight. And if you start with bigger, broader shoulders and, and a larger fist, you're, yeah. you, it's, it just doesn't make sense. So it's going to be the end of women's sport. And well, I, what, I don't know why... if any women have dropped out yet. But I was talking to Sharon Davis about this the other day, uh, yesterday, in fact. And it's very interesting because one, what I asked her was, you know, this is something that no, no one I know thinks this is sensible. You know, we're talking about 99.999% of the country recognise that we segregate sports for a reason by sex uh, and that that's the fair way to do it. It's only a tiny minority of activists who think that there is any kind of credence to this idea. And yet, Jonathan, those activists appear to be dominating all of the major sporting bodies. Do you think that's through fear of repercussion or do you think there's a deliberate attempt to kind of march with these institutions and I don't know. Them. It, I'm genuinely serious, baffled by it. I'm genuinely South baffled. Park, did you see the South Park parody of this when they had um, yeah. was a Rick Rick Flair or no? It was a it was a big burly wrestler, a different wrestler, um, competing in the strong woman competition and just beating the yeah lights out of everyone. yeah yeah exactly. And that was a few years ago now. Yeah yeah. And it's actually come true. I mean that's you know it's it's scary stuff. Okay.